What's up everybody, Adam here, wishing you a happy holidays from sunny California. I wanted to make this video because of the big news that came out in the diabetes world today. As you may have heard, uh, the FDA just approved Dexcom today for a non-adjunctive indication uh, for the ability to make treatment decisions based on your CGM. So what does that actually mean? Well, basically, the FDA is saying that you no longer have to poke your finger and check your blood sugar before meals, before giving insulin. Uh, instead, you can just rely on the CGM readings from your Dexcom G5. This is something that's been expected ever since July when the FDA advisory panel recommended approval uh, for this non-adjunctive indication for the G5. This is a big step and I'm really excited for this news today. So as a G5 user myself, you know, how does this affect my daily life? So really ever since July, I've been dosing insulin just off my CGM. So what I'll do is I'll check my blood sugar twice, once in the morning when I wake up and once at night before I go to bed to calibrate the G5. During the day when I'm about to eat, I'll dose insulin based on the CGM readings instead of having to prick my finger and check my blood sugar. The only times I'll check my blood sugar during the day are before and after I exercise because sometimes there are some fluctuations that don't get captured well on the CGM and I want to avoid hypos. The other change I made is, you know, I used to wear my CGM sensor for 10, 12, sometimes 14 days, but now I'm just wearing it for the seven days and then I'm just replacing it with a new sensor. Mainly because when I keep it on more than seven days, I've noticed that it's not nearly as accurate as it was before. And if I'm actually making treatment decisions, I should probably use more accurate data. This is a really exciting development, not just for me, but for everybody with type one diabetes. From an access perspective, I think many more people with type one diabetes are gonna have access and be able to afford this Dexcom G5 because insurance companies now have an incentive to cover it uh, because it's no longer just sort of a nice to have, but it can actually be used to make treatment decisions, which is great. In particular, Medicare patients who are 65 or older in the United States uh, have not had any insurance coverage of the Dexcom G5, but now that they have this non-adjunctive indication, uh, it's more likely that Medicare will cover the G5, so it'll expand access to the you know thousands of patients who have not had it before. So I'm curious to hear about your experiences. Have you been dosing insulin based on your Dexcom readings? Uh, if so, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.